What's up, guys? Another void here with more Star Drive 2 for you. Episode 18. About to get into these alien fights here. Um, there's a few things I was playing. Well, I just tried to move the map with the left mouse button because in Galciv 3, that's how you do it. I was just playing some Galciv 3 over the weekend. And uh, it's pretty, it's an okay game. It feels does feel a lot like Galciv 2. I think somebody even mentioned that in Steam forums. And, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, um... About to have a couple fights, but one thing I saw right away is this is a master fleet. This is not a regular alien fleet. Like if you click this, this is a crystal crystalline fleet. These guys are pretty easy to kill. I can't see what they have because there are no ship types with that. It's a creature. But if you click these guys, look what they have. Class three shields, forty-one thousand shield health. Yeah, no. Uh, Antimatter torpedoes, thirty-five hundred per shot. But it's every 20 seconds, so that's not too bad. Fusion, fusion engines. I don't know why they would have nukes except to kill their planet, I guess. Um, Antimatter cannons. They're doing some really nuts DPS, basically. Um, advanced ECM. I think... Is that superior ECM jammer? So that's to jam people's missiles incoming. Uh, and if you look at the support guy, the escort... He's got EMP torpedoes, so this guy will lock up your ships. They can't do anything when he fires this for like 15 seconds. And they just keep firing and firing and firing. It basically locks your ship down. You can't ever do anything with it while it's targeted. Um, they also have the uh, advanced ECMs to jam up your missiles and stuff like that. Um, these guys are bad news, and there's eight. there are eight of them. So I don't think we can fight them with just this fleet. This is not a strong enough fleet to fight, those, fight eight of those guys. So what I'm going to try to do is get out of... I, I think... I'm still ahead of them. Now I do have a battleship coming out in six turns here. The thing though is, what's going to happen here is my battleship's just going to get ECM the whole time. Um, but I wonder if I put both these fleets together, if I have a fighting chance at killing these guys with the star base. Um, also, I wanted to talk a little bit about the patch, patch 1.1. Somebody asked me about it and asked me a couple questions about it in a comment, and I wanted to talk about it, but it'll have to wait for a second. Also, I really think what they need to do is have some kind of power level indicator in here to show you, like, like they need to have, he needs to have, like, the power level of each of these mods so they all add up. Like, class 3 shields should be, you know, whatever power level that is or something or they can just put like he can put the hit points of shielding and all that so you know a little bit more about then this command point thing doesn't really tell you much because frigates are always pretty cheap because you can put some massive weapons on it if you have the tech um, but they do he does let you at least examine them so that's a lot of information already um, you can see they're also really really fast which means I'm gonna get outrun outran I probably should have broadside guys on my side um, infinite oh, okay so I need to run from those guys to hopefully survive these guys can still fight this crystalline fleet these guys are like no no problem I fought these guys lots of other times not a big deal so what I'm gonna do and don't we have another ship popping out of here oh urban infrastructure still okay is we're gonna go like this because we're hopefully gonna get that asp before they get here I don't I can't see where they're going this fight's still going to happen, but let's back these guys off. I want to get in this fight and then fly straight to Nordell 1 and see if I can get the fight going right there. That would be really good for us. So, what else are we doing? Cruise missiles right now? Okay. So let's see how this pans out. We're going to get a fight right here. This is fine. And then that other fight, hopefully we can wait until we have all of our fleet together. So... Going over the patch notes here, patch 1.1 added more than 1,500 badass ship designs in the AI's arsenal. Hopefully I'm going to have this link in the video description. Um, and let's start this battle since there's not a lot of me actually doing much. And we already know we're going to win. We'll just start the battle. Um, the AI routines responsible for building fleets have been upgraded to provide a more substantial challenge heading into the late game. Experienced players may well find themselves outgunned. That's good. Because I think what was happening before was... The AI would just build like hundreds of frigates, and it's like, you're if you have battleships and titans, you're probably just gonna ruin them, you know. So we should get some firing here. Um, also, I noticed that I should not set this engagement range up 
because, in fact, I want to do this. Attack behavior, hold position. Target facing frontal. So I want to target, and they'll actually switch to fire at these guys, I think. Um, because when you have larger ships, it's real easy to take out the smaller ships. Because the large, the smaller ships just can't do enough damage. So let's do this. Looks like these guys are already going down. Let's get this guy to target these guys, maybe. So they'll start to turn. Now they're trying to... Yeah, they're just trying to keep them in range now or something. So this is the easy fight. Like I said, I knew this was going to be an easy fight. Now we got to get Admiral Renegade's fleet over to uh, Captain Captain Krolls. And I think we are going to... We were going to... Um, this was the guy we were going to promote to captain. I don't know who this is. This is Captain... Um, captain Sa Sancha. This is a girl. Uh, this lady. She's really good. Captain Sancha has been captaining this uh, Chuck Killer Mark IV for a while. She's been in a lot of battles. Battle for the home world. And now Silver, Silver Star Valor. And gets another kill. She's doing a really good job. And so Admiral Renegade puts her in for a fleet uh, a, a field commendation. Um, and also, a lot of these interceptors are now having tons of fights. Six combats, successful combats here. Purple Heart for this interceptor one two uh, B, which I think he got that in a different battle actually, because he only oh he took fifteen hundred, so maybe he got in this one. Admiral Renegade takes ninety four hundred damage like a pro right in the face. He doesn't care. That's awesome. That's why I want to tank it. Look at all that damage output. Good job, Admiral Renegade. Let's do the that fleet uh, fleet promotion or I mean uh, field promotion real quick. A field promotion, if you don't earn the military, is a promotion that happens during wartime or generally in the field. As, you know, um, when you're in uh, an op a field of operation, um, and it happens on the spot a lot of the times. And war is a great, well, great. War is a great time. War is a time where a lot of promotions happen. If people, I mean, if it's a war against two powers that are pretty evenly matched, because there will be a lot of deaths, and you need to replace the ranks, so there's a lot of promotion. So, okay. Good. Nordel 1 is a core world now. That's good. Um, it happens pretty... It happens quite a lot. That's why, you know, World War 2 was kind of a big deal for those guys. And we got some really hurt dudes, but it should be fine. We really just need the firepower. We're probably going to lose that guy. So, which one of these guys... Ah, this is Captain Sancha's command vessel. Um, and also, you know, he's been really thinking about uh, promoting Captain Kroll. He's been a captain for a long time. He's actually been captaining his own fleet now for a while, which really is an admiral's duty. So Admiral Renegade's thinking about promoting him, but he's going to wait to see what happens with this fight with the Masters here. Um, so let's make sure every, nobody has needs to do anything. Oh, we got no construction here at Cholar 1. Let's build a Galnet, and you don't need anything else. Okay, so he's building Galnet... Everybody else is building something. And we have negative six for money, but that's okay. Because, oh, yeah, you need to build that, man. Let's take some dudes off there. That, wait, what? Oh, like that. Takes 24 turns, and now we have negative food. I think this is going to happen quite a lot. We're going to have to do this with other stuff, too. Does this guy also need the Galnet? Yes, he does. So, this is not a production guy. Wow! That's insane. Does Chull also need it? I thought Chull built it. Yeah, it's built over here. What's Chull doing? Pretty much nothing. Hmm. They're doing science, but... What? Chull... Oh, okay, this guy's also doing food. That's right. Gotta get a lot of these Galnet dudes in here because... These Galacta, oh, Galactanets uh, really are only good if you have a bunch of them. So you kind of want a lot of them. Let's, like, pump this thing up. 21 turns is a long time. We need some food production. Who's Who has this thing finished? Because <laughs> that'd be nice. Inhild's one producing still. So they're also producing their Galactanet. Let's get some more people on these, man. We need to get these finished. Soil enrichment. Yeah, probably a good idea, since that's kind of a new planet for us. Let's look at Nordel. Ah, uh, one turn. Why don't we take some of these off? Two turns. One turn still. Is that good? Nope, we're still not good on food. 
still two turns. Why don't we just keep doing this? Maybe one more. There. Still two turns. We're good. Everybody, yeah, everybody's happy now. Good. Okay, we're good. And what's this guy got? 13, he's doing urban infrastructure? I thought it was supposed to be more than 13. I don't think that's a good idea. We should get rid of that. It's not going to help a lot. We're getting rid of that. It's just not going to help a lot. And you know what? Well, what's the throne? Testament to your power gives 25% approval on the planet where you built the throne. So, this is a good spot. Large, right? Large, rich. This is a large, abundant. That's why I did it here at Dock and One instead, because they have a... Uh, let's see. Basically, five per. So we're getting five per dude, I think. No worker output. Hmm. Eight per. Yep. Gravity penalty. Interesting. Okay, cool. So let's move forward now. We really only care about that fight that's coming up with the masters. Luckily, they're kind of slow. Ending one, good. Pretty sure it's when the planet fills up they um, are considered a core world. I also have a link. Hopefully, there's going to be links in the video description for how to get places to spawn those special buildings. Like, if you go over here to Cholar 2, I've got this uh, private shipyard. That's because I built a bunch of ships. If you do that, it'll it'll they'll spawn. It'll spawn. Okay. Same thing with this freighter one, the trade one. Where is he? This one? No. Private university, trade guild chapter house. Um, I built a lot of freighters here, so they gave it to me. So all I have to do to get this somewhere else and stop building freighters here is to um, build some freighters somewhere else. So I also want to get the private university uh, on a lot of different planets. That well, wherever I have um, scientists, right? Okay, so we've got Captain Krull is already here waiting for Admiral Renegade to join him so they can deal with these masters. And we got the Chuck Ass Mark Three or Mark One here. Why don't we just build it? Well, why don't we wait? We can wait like a couple more turns. Okay, that's fine. He's going to kill some of our freighters. I don't care. They're going to kill some of the freighters. We should be there two turns. Oh, that's bad news. Uh, okay, so here's something I found out. Uh, there's a bug currently where, because I pre-recorded this. I actually, well, I didn't pre-record it. I recorded this, and what happened was I got in a fight here, and my guy was, like, almost there, and the masters got here, and um, I only had one ship there. And I got killed, obviously, but there was one master that his engines were out, and the Starbase couldn't kill him, but I had no ships left, right? So it was like a standoff. So I hit I hit retreat or uh, give up or whatever. It killed my Starbase, which was stupid. And then my whole other fleet that was next to it that was almost getting there, like one more turn, was dead. It just got wiped off the map. So they weren't in the fight, so I don't know how that happened, but it, it did happen. So this should hopefully... And I think what I'm going to do is do this to make sure they're one fleet here. I think this should get us... We might get the Chuck Asp Mark 1 as well. I hope we get that battleship. That'd be so sweet. Yes, we did. Oh, okay. Alright, so now we've got this giant fleet. We really want them to attack us here in Nordell 1 so we can get the Starbase's help. Um... Why are we slowing down? Speed penalty from damage? Oh, okay. A couple of the ships are slower. This is a massive fleet. Admiral Renegade is going to take the uh, the new Asp. This is going to be Admiral Renegade ship, so we don't need... Let's just make him a Chuck Little Mark III again. Where is he, anyway? Huh. We have some extra cruisers here that don't have dudes in them. I did not know we had that. So... Why did we make... What's her name? Let's see. Let's just make this a Chuck Kill Whittle Mark III again. We should have put her in a cruiser. Let's do that now. But... Oh, that's why. Because she had all those medals. So we save that. Let's get out of there. Let's go in here again. Let's find somebody with a lot of medals. 
Oh, this is a good one. Let's make this. This is... Oh, duh, Admiral Renegade can give it to her. This is uh, Captain Sancha's command vessel. I wish you could move those dudes around. It'd be kind of cool. All right, so let's get rid of, I think... There, this is it. This is no longer Captain Sancha's. She was upgraded to a cruiser, just like uh, Captain Krull here. So now we've got this massive, nice fleet. Now they're going to target the battleship most of the time, but that's good because the battleship can soak up a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to wait because right now we're with the Starbase, and I want the Starbase's help. Here we go. And okay, there's going to. Okay, now we're. When they killed a couple more freighters, that's fine. This is going to be a really tough battle, even though we have tons of ships. I don't feel like we have enough. We have four cruisers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight frigates. Don't auto this thing. We should be able to take them out, but I think I think we just sit still. I, I, another thing I noticed is uh, if you take this guy right here, let's say, what are you doing? Okay, well, if you t click one guy and you up his range, he'll try to stay at that range, and he his shots will miss a lot. So with these guys that have like shots that have to they aim it the, and then they fire you need to just make them have close orbits if they can get away with it so we're gonna put this guy up front we want him to get emp'd and he i want i want uh oh i thought i'd rename this and i want admiral renegade to take most of the damage because he can take a lot of damage and keep on ticking um actually i might want him back here that way he can keep firing that's actually not a bad idea so let's do that. All right, let's begin. We'll start targeting people as they get closer. Once they cross the threshold and we... It's weird how these missiles stay back here. That's some kind of a bug or something. I don't know. So they have massive amounts of shields like we've already seen. The shields on these guys are crazy. So the missiles are getting jammed. kind of knew that was going to happen. Let's, let's target, target this. Yeah, there we go. They're getting juiced target this guy. You guys target that guy. Turn around, basically. There we go. So we might actually take these guys out pretty fast. They're going down pretty quick. There we go. It's because we joined the fleets together, and we have... See, they did EMP jam Admiral, Admiral Renegade ship, but that's fine. Look at that. I don't even think we lost anybody. Maybe. That was a really good fight. I was really worried about that fight right there. So, Starbase gets a kill and an assist. And we've got... Uh, Captur Captain Sancha gets an assist. That's good. And her new uh, cruiser. Chuck Killer March 4 gets a kill. Chuck Whittle Mark 3 gets four kills and two assists. Who is this? Who is this? We need to we need to give this guy a promotion. That's a that is awesome. Good job. Captain Kroll gets four assists. And who anybody else? Who's So Cap Admiral Renegade gets one kill, two assists, and this other cruiser gets one kill, one assist. Did we lose anyone? We lost an interceptor. Took tons of damage right up front. That's all we lost. One interceptor. Wow. So it is good to stack your numbers like that. I think it's the DPS. The DPS really helped me out like tons in that little fight right there. So we lost like five freighters. Who cares? Nobody cares about that. This, uh, I'm gonna turn anomalous readings. So good job here with our first battleship on the field. Really need to get some EMP defense. I'll have to research that and figure out why. Um, figure out how to get some defense against that a tactic because it's pretty insane. What's this guy doing? Yep, he's doing what he should be doing. Anything here I don't want? Not really. Agricultural exchange. Also, to get this, you just produce tons of food, and you'll get this. Pretty simple. Um, I think we're good here. What's this guy's special ability again? Let's look. Oh, um, growth bonus. Population growth bonus of third. Oh, again, farming leader. Weren't we saying we wanted to switch these? 
because this is going to be a mainly a farming area, and they've got uh, environmental leader. They've got basically a guy who helps with uh, production, and this is mainly a production system. Baron, Baron, and yeah, two production systems. What do we have out here? Like two production systems or three? Two. Well, one. So we're gonna do that. Let's flip those guys right there. Let's uh, assign this guy to, oh, we already have him there. Let's go back and down again. Oh, you know what they did? They did something different this time. So let's assign this guy to Cholar. See, they listed all the uh, planets, that's nice. Assign him to Cholar. And then we'll move the other guy as well. We'll assign this guy to Nordell. There we go. So they gotta fly back and forth. That's that guy's ship? Nice. Can I look at it? No. Why not? Oh, you can. Steel armor? Eh. Ion beams? This guy's... This guy's boat's pretty bad. Ooh, what's that? Ionium armor? It's weird. Oh, he's got mass drivers. This thing do massive damage, dude. Eh, he's alright. I don't really need to put him in my fleet. Okay, so... We're good. Now we can split this fleet up again. Which I always hate doing. Why don't we just let them sit here for a sec? We need to produce some more... I also... Somebody was saying I can make a fueling station out here. I'll probably put it right there. And I don't think these overlap. I might put another highway in right there. Just to make sure they overlap. But first, we're trying to get those galactic nets, galacta nets up. Then after that, we should be good to go. Negative 12, huh? People are probably starving. That's odd. That's really weird. So now that we're not doing anything, why don't we just do that? We're still losing money. That's that's Now that is odd. We should be overproducing in food enough to not lose money. So that went much better than I planned. I thought maybe it wouldn't go as well as I thought. So let's just do this. What are we doing here? When the master ships were destroyed, they left behind a container. 500 BC. Yay! How bizarre, but sweet. Okay. Maybe they're trying to help us. We're getting another getting another battleship. This one will be for Captain Krull. He'll get his promotion in nine turns. And I think it's going to be really good. So let's just keep working here. Cholar 1 produces that. So, you're done. You can build ships now. Let's build another fleet, maybe. Let's build some... Let's build some cruisers here. How long do they... Ten turns. Yeah, that's good. Let's build cruisers. Alright, we're good. So, uh... Core World at Cholar 1. Nice. Because they're full. Nordell 3 is finished as well. Of course these production places are finished really fast. Um, let's produce some ships. Why don't we do four frigates? That's going to help this new fleet. We're creating a new fleet right now. We have tons of command space. Research lab. So he's probably got other things to work on. Yeah. Sweet. And nothing going on. This is what I like. Well, it's not really what I like, but... So Nordel 1, we have some uh, frigates coming online. Good. Chalar 4 is done as well. Let's have them build that, and that, and that, and this. So we want this to come out first. Then the pollution, th actually the pollution thing is faster. Then this, and then well, actually the shipyard first, and then the fleet academy. Chalar 5, nice. We have a lot of shipyards, don't we? Actually, if they're not producing... Aren't they food producers? That's why I don't have all this stuff. They produce food. So let's just do that. Yeah, now we're making some bank. We can actually put some more of these guys on here then. There we go. We can get our science going again. And we don't want that. Well, that's fine. There, now cruise missiles are coming up. Probably should redesign our battleships to have some cruise missiles. Those things hit like trucks, man. So Nordel, Nordel 3 has produced one of the frigates we asked for. Cruise missiles, good. 
This guy is also finished, and he has nothing else to build, so let's do this. That's a lot of cash. Now we can, again, no construction at Inilts. That's odd. He's not building anything. Well, why don't you build a couple more cruisers? Eight turns each. That's good. No construction at Inilts 3 either. Oh, because it's supposed to be trade goods. Okay. That's how I know that uh, they're just producing food. Okay, so Chull. Can we do this? Yes, we can. 142 science. That's awesome. So those are the mech factory, but defensive battery sucks apparently. So I think the mechs are what we're going to do. I like that they don't give you a choice because you're never going to pick like infantry stuff. I, I just never pick it because infantry is not very good. And you don't use it very often. I think experimental might be what we want. So ECM jammer. ECM jammers provide an excellent defense against, oh, guided weapons. ECM jammers have a base range of 100. I will jam one guided weapon every two seconds. I think that's good to get. Ships that rely have on heavy hitting energy weapons are crippled without charged capacitors. The weapon does minimal thermal damage as well. Its discharge effect only works if the ship is hull is hit. Gauss cannon. Uh, without generating heat, the Gauss cannon is a huge long-range standoff weapon that deals heavy damage. It's a multi-stage magnetic coil. However, energy shields can stop this weapon, eliminating its usefulness. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, so... Probably want to get targeting computer. Oh yeah, it helps with targeting. I'm gonna get experimental one more time because it's the cheapest, and it should yeah four turns. That's no problem at all. All right, we're back in business. We got a lot of those Galacta nets online already. Shouldn't be too long before everybody's up and running. Throne of Chuck. Six more turns. Good. All right. Infantry base, make sure they're still building. They are not. Calzeb 1. Okay, why don't you build that and that? So you've got stuff to build now. So this ship, why don't we move these guys? Because I don't want that. Well, the battleship can go to there. That's fine. Where do we want this fleet? Why don't we put this fleet like here? That's what we'll do. So we also need to make a fuel ship. I'm probably going to do that one off camera. So we've got another ASP in here. We've got two more uh, cruisers coming out. But we don't need two more cruisers. Why don't we produce more widows? So let's... No, not that. That's what we just killed off. Let's do four frigates. Two turns apiece. So we've got this guy. Let's have him join that fleet. That's uh, going to be uh, Admiral Krulls now. So Admiral Krull gets his new ship, and he gets a massive promotion and a big ceremony. Krulls command vessel. Uh, on uh, Nordell 1, where the battle took place with the Masters, and you know everybody's like, man, you're so awesome. And uh, his family's there or whatever. <laughs> And he gets his promotion. So why don't we do this? Let's. That looks good. Three of those guys. We need more interceptors, don't we? So he's got one cruiser, two frigates, some more interceptors. That's five, six interceptors. He needs four frigates and two cruisers. Okay, four frigates and two cruisers. We'll give those to him. Now what do we have left? Cruiser, frigate, frigate. We have six interceptors. Okay, so we have an extra interceptor. So on this fleet we have one cruiser, two frigates, four frigates, two cruisers. Okay, so I think that's the same thing as we have over here. One cruiser, two frigates, four frigates, another cruiser. Okay, so these, these fleets are now the same, and one of them is Admiral Kroll. Captain Sanchez with Admiral Kroll just to give them a little bit more command presence. Let's make one of these is Admiral Kroll or uh, Captain Kroll. 
So let's get rid of that. It's got to be this one. Yep. Okay. This is no longer Captain Kroll's vessel. Delete. It's just a Chuck Whittle 3 with, you know, some awesome dude on it. Okay, so we've got two fleets now with battleships, and I think we should put a couple more battleships in these fleets. That's probably what I should keep building out of Nordel 1. Let's just build a couple more battleships. There we go. You know what we should do? Well, that's going to end it for episode 18. I'm going to rebuild some stuff off camera. I'm going to build a fuel frigate or possibly cruiser to help out with fleets leaving the you know leaving our space. I'm going to build I'm going to put some torpedoes probably on the the battleships and some other stuff like that. And I'll be back for episode 19 hopefully to show you those new ship builds and as always stay frosty.